Hey, who are you? What do you want? I'm not going back. I won't. Tell them I won't. You want to calm down, or do you want me to knock some sense into you? You wouldn't be calm. Not if you'd heard them. Not if you'd heard them. Who is them? Them. The ancients. They're everywhere. Just listen. The screams, the whispering. I wish I couldn't hear it. I wish they weren't speaking to me. Take a few deep breaths. Relax, okay? Can't you see? It's all around us. The panic, people dying, the creatures. Can't you see that? They will rise from their graves to avenge themselves on the living. The ruins that have risen from the ground, who do you think made that happen? And they are but a herald. Soon, they will show themselves. Then we will all be doomed. Something is happening, but I've seen no evidence of spirits. What whispering? What are you talking about? It's those temples rising from the ground. The voices came from them. Who is it whispering? The ancients. All the things they find, the temples, they're from the ancients. And those idiots want me to dig them up, to desecrate their graves. The ancients have been disturbed. What do you think is causing these storms? And who knows how to fight them? Who knows what can stop them? Aha. Uh -huh. You said you don't want to go back. Back to where? Hawkins didn't send you. He wants me to go back digging there. But how can I go back? They will take me again. Well, Hawkins does want you back at work. I knew it, but I won't go. You can forget it. You want something to be afraid of? Really afraid of? There's nothing you can do that's close to what those spirits will do to me. I can't go back there. No one knows how to stop the Ancients. Find someone else for the job. Send Dwight. He doesn't hear them. He doesn't believe. But you'd better know. The spirits will come for you. And there is no protection. I have something that will protect you from the Ancients. There is no protection. That's not what the mages say. They've been searching for objects like this amulet for a way to protect us all. That's just a cheap necklace. Have a closer look. How can this protect me? This is what people have been searching the ruins for. Answers. For protection. And they found something? Yes. Objects with the power of the ancients. Objects like this amulet will protect you. The mages guarantee you'll remain 100% spirit free. But we need to find more of these. More artifacts, so everyone can be safe. Yes, yes, of course. That's why it's important for you to have this. If we're to protect everyone, we need you to look for things at the excavation site. Of course, of course. I'll do it. I'll help protect everyone.
A little more for me. Make a fool out of you. That's the way. You can do it. Ah. Go. Ah. Ah. Don't let him make a fool out of you. Keep it up. Huh? Make a uh, kill uh, Watch out! 
Are you trying to... Watch out! Huh? You can do it! Ah! Uh. Yeah! Don't let him make... Uh. Watch where you're aiming! Yeah! for me. Okay, okay, you won. You alone out here? What? Are you alone out here? Yeah, yeah, don't yell, I'm deaf. You seen my, my full of beer glass thing goes smash if you drop it. You mean a beer bottle? That's why I said, you got bad hearing, you know that. The bottle was right, it was here, no, here somewhere. Shouldn't you be hunting? Damn it, don't you start. Everything's going to hell, and I'm supposed to go hunting? No way! I'd rather sit here and have a little drink it and do If you start hunting, I'll give you a beer. Nope! That'll mean I gotta move, and I'm not moving. <laughs> you do it. Get hunting, or I'll get unpleasant. Wait, wait, wait! I'm waiting. What? Right. Mm. You go and deal with these rats. They're over the... Oh, south of here. If you come back, I'll give you 30 cold groins. Mm. What do you think? You're a hunter and you can't deal with rats. Furry little bastards, look at you funny. Go on, you kill them, and I'll pay you. You're drunk. So, I'd rather be dead drunk than dead, and we're all gonna die soon anyway. You wait. When the white robe shows up, we'll all be as dead as... dead men. White robes? Yeah! The white robes. White! From the Inquish... Inquis... <laughs> Inquisition? Yeah! What do white robes want in a swamp? Huh? They'll end up brown robes! Ha! <laughs> Stinking! Swamp! Yeah. And what can you tell me about the white robes? They're everywhere. Uh, came from the sea, from the mainland, and now they're sweeping across the island, wrecking! Everything. <laughs> Have you ever met a white robe? Are you insane? 
I'd run like a stabbed rat if I ever saw one. I can believe it. Where's that damn bottle? It's my bottle. <laughs> Give it back, you stinking swamp. Don't you think you've had enough? 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 <laughs> oh, I can't drink enough. Have you been to the Don's camp? I can tell you once you've spent a couple of days there. You'll start on the sauce too, believe me. If you'd been there, you'd be me. Why? What's wrong with the camp? Bunch of total ass... Oh, ass... Oh, bastards. Always screwing each other over. I don't trust a single one of them. The worst bastard is Brogar. A nasty piece of... Uh, work. He's a bastard's bastard. Tell me more about this Brogar. The whole damn place is under his thumb. Official. Official. Officially? Fishly, yeah. Fishly, he's just the boss of the fighters. The Don's lieutenant. But he's more than that. Every man there is terrified of him. Even his shadow's scared of him. Because that Brogar, he wants to replace the Don, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> he does. Right. You seem to know a lot about Brogar. More than you think, and not just about Brogar. You get me more beer, and then I'll really tell you something. I get you more beer, and I'll be lucky to understand you. I'll see what I can do. Here, one beer for some information. Hey, hey, hey you got one. Uh, you're beautiful. I'm looking for Dorgan, the fighter. That moron, he dis... He dis... <coughs> off into a cave that way, east of here. He went in, just didn't come out. Wouldn't surprise me if something is in there and they ate him. Hmm, the damn fool. To the east of here, you say? I'm looking for some pieces of a sword blade. Old, decorated with gold. They're everywhere. Everyone's got one. Well, not Hawkins. Or Jan. Or Rachel. Or Craig has one. I've seen it. It's quite big. And that moron has one as well. What moron? Dorgan. He's got a piece, moron. Of course, Brogar has one. You'd have to take him apart to get it. <laughs> and me! I've got one too. You have one. I'll give you a beer for the piece of sword blade. No way! What, what do you think I am, an idiot? It's easily worth two. Here, two beers. Beer! Beer! Ha <laughs> Here you go. Here, you're a hunter, or you were. Teach me something about it. Now you're talking. <laughs> when I got time, I'll do just that. So why is everyone so afraid of Brogar? Ha! Ah, why do you think he's the strongest fighter in the camp? No one can beat him. How do you think I can get Brogar to fight me in the arena? Uh, you can't be serious. Ha! He'll turn you into mincemeat and then dance on all the little pieces. <laughs> Just tell me what I need to know. The only thing that'll make a man like that come out of his shell, little shell, like a snail. <laughs> I like a snail's all silver trails in the moonshine. Flies. Mm. Pretty. What will make him come out of his shell? Who? Oh! Yeah. Fear, isn't it? You know, fear of losing control. He wants control 
of the camp. If someone comes and takes control, that'll piss him off. He'll want to show he's boss. Grind them into the dirt all the way in. Head first. Pull their head off and, you know, down their neck. You try this or, or beat his fighters in the arena. That'll scare him too. Get him out of his shell. Right. Thanks. Hmm. I don't have anything to ask at the moment. Uh, that's too bad. Can you teach me about hunting? Those furry little rats you were worried about, they won't be looking at you funny again. Hey, that was fast. You're a pretty good hunter. Here, 30 gold coins. That's only 25. Yeah? Oh, well, <laughs> it's all I've got. I had 30 once. Now, the rats gotta be gutted and the meat taken to the camp. You can do that. I'm feeling a bit, you know, tired. Yeah, you've had a hard day. Thought you might like to know Dwight's gone back to work. He has? That's almost a miracle. But well done. Here, take these coins. Your gratitude is boundless. Brannon has returned to work. I saw. Good. Good work. I thought you'd be pleased. I am. Oh, uh, take this. You deserve payment. Enrico is back working at the excavation site. How did you manage that? Let's say he took some persuading, but saw sense. Well, I suppose you need to have some gold for that. Right. They're all back at work. Things should get moving now. That is good work. I will keep Beppo and his cronies off my back. I challenge you to a fight in the arena. You think because I'm a guard, I'm soft. Your mistake.
All right, then, you bastard. I'm sticking to guard duty from now on. That makes me feel safe. Bastard. About your hunting. Lewis isn't going to stop drinking anytime soon. I know. But when he's sober, or even when he's half cut, he's a damn good hunter. Both your hunters are back out doing their job. Are they? You work fast. Your team's not the best I've seen. You take what you find. They're what I found. As for your training, maybe I can help. About Brogar. Brogar's hold on the camp isn't as strong as he thinks it is. Maybe, but he's not stupid and he's certainly not weak. You defied him. Don't expect him to take his eye off you now. Be very, very careful, my friend. Brogar's fighters are staging fights in the arena. Would the Don approve of that? You'd have to ask Rachel. But it might be something you can hold against Brogar. You could use it to stop Brogar. If you challenged him to combat and won, that would embarrass him in front of everyone. But it wouldn't be easy. That's an understatement. Well, you started on this path. Every man chooses his destination. Where are you going? Whatever happens, I'll need to train. A man needs skills, and with the path you've chosen, you'll need more skills than most. Word has it that Brogar wants to replace the Don. That much is obvious. There isn't a man in the place who hasn't worked that out. But it's not something anyone says out loud. Words can get you killed. There is no way I can beat Brogar with this useless equipment. If you're after a better blade, Oscar the Smith will sell you one. If that fails, you'll need another line of attack. Magic. Try talking to Robart, the swamp farmer. He knows about magic, and as he's outside the camp, people won't hear you buying stuff. Can you teach me about hunting? Clay's taken over from Phil on guard duty. Good. Pair of useless assholes. Ricardo's made of rice paper and spit. You'll find tougher. Here, your winnings. I want to make a bet. 
I'll fight Lorenzo in the arena. That'll be worth watching. I don't like faces I don't know well, and your face is too pretty. Slap some makeup on you and you could work the brothels. You know I'm new here then. Shiny skin, gormless expression. <laughs> You're not the first. It's the heap of gold in the temple. It sucks in idiots like flies to shit. But there's no one round here that wants to split their share of the Don's gold any further. You're a fighter, right? I took the advice my teacher gave me. Find something you like and make it your job. What's the Don going to do with the gold? Invest in Swampland? We might be stuck here now, but we're not going to be here forever. Once those religious nutcases are gone, Harbour Town will be ours. Then you'll see. What are the Inquisition doing in the town? Pretty face. Shame you're thick as pig shit with it. They only need the town to give them a supply route. The real work happens in the monastery. Fuck knows what they do up there. And you don't think it would be a good idea to find out? You're the nosy fucker. Why don't you knock on the door and ask them? Let's see how many questions you've got after they work you to death in the temple ruins. Hmm. Live here, die there. You know, there's an ocean full of beautiful desert islands. Where did the Don get all his gold? See that temple? We took it. And guess what? It was full of gold and artifacts and stuff. Now it's full of guards, an ogre, and surrounded by us. There are temples all over the island. Why don't you bugger off and find your own? You just walk in and take the gold from the temple ruins. Yeah, it's that simple. Go on, try it. Then you'll see the beasts that come charging out of those ruins. You have to deal with them before you get to the shiny stuff. So you've cleared all those creatures out of the ruins? Keen to see them, are you? All right. We'll go to a temple ruin nearby. You help me deal with the creatures there, then you can get your share of the gold. What's the catch? There's no catch. We clear the place and split the rewards. How do we split the gold? 50-50. I'll think about it. All right, but don't take too long. All right, let's get the gold from the temple ruin. Ah, oh. so you are interested in the gold. Let's go, follow me. Now, no one can see us here, so let's have ourselves a little chat. What about? I've met people like you, troublemakers. Right, so we're not here for the temple. You're getting the picture. It's just you and me, and you're gonna give me your gold. Can we talk about this? I don't want to talk. I want you gone. Permanently. Every scummy weasel that turns up here costs me a share of my gold. Let's get this over. Draw your weapon. See? I knew you were trouble. Time to fight! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!
Got, eh? So, you're still here. You made me feel so welcome. You want to stay in this shithole? You're welcome to it. How about we sort out our differences in the arena? A show fight? Why not? It'll get me out of this place for a while. Time to fight! gonna talk to me a bit nicer from now on. Fuck off. You beat him fair enough. And to the victor the spoils. Your winnings. I want to make a bet. I'm ready to face you in the arena. There's gold on the table. How can I refuse? Let me know when you want this to start. I want to fight you. Right now. Well, that sounds serious. Meet me in the arena. The arena is the only place we'll fight. Got that? And if you leave the arena during the fight, you lose. May the worthiest fighter win.
Now you die. Ah! Yeah! You think it'll be one-sided? Let's find out. I want to make a bet. I'm ready to face Domingo in the arena. Now nah, there's a fight should bring in some wages. Good luck. Let's try a few rounds in the arena. Are you that keen to get a kick in? Not interested. You're not worth my time. Here, have a swig of this. Ah, that's the good stuff right there. So, how about the arena? Go on then, a beer, someone to punch. Life doesn't get much better. You're clearly a man of simple tastes. Time for a little lesson. Huh? Ah! Uh. 
Okay, so you ain't bad, you ain't bad. I'll give you that. But your technique is all over the place. I want to improve my fighting skills. Domingo will have learned to respect you. Your win took him by surprise. And me. Here, your winnings. I don't like paying out. But you did what you bet you'd do. Nobody will face me in the arena. That's one of the biggest compliments they can pay you. Yes, but I haven't faced Brogar. Ah, that's a different world altogether. Brogar won't fight just for the hell of it. His position in camp is built on his brawn and his ruthlessness. He can't afford for anyone to beat him in combat. It would weaken his power, so he's wary, as you should be. I know what I'm doing. You'd better. I want to make a bet. I think I can beat Brogar in the arena. I think he'd turn you into paste. But first you'd have to get him to fight you. That's hard enough. I'll find a way. Craig has a piece of the sword blade the Don wants. So he says. But that bastard won't part with it cheap if he has got it. You knew he had a piece of the blade. <laughs> Nothing happens in this camp without someone mouthing about it. You didn't pay him, did you? Does that matter? Well, they say a fuckwit and his money as soon as parted. Waif and stray looking for pity? Or fortune hunter looking for gold? Looks like I've got another mouth to feed. Are you the cook? Amongst other things, you have to be adaptable in these times. One day you've a sword in your hand, the next a ladle. And the cooking relaxes me, if you call stirring wild boar and brugalweed cooking. Sorry, forgotten my manners. I'm Rachel. Here, new mouth, take this meat. Freshly cooked. How are things around here? Perfect. I don't know why we didn't move out of the town into the swamp earlier. The Inquisition are sucking the life out of the town, but this swamp is sucking the life out of us. We used to be close, all of us. Everyone made their share, worked for their share. Now it's falling apart. And with Esteban in that damn temple, I'm the one trying to hold it together. Why do you think things are falling apart here? It's those ruins. They've got everyone's mind on treasure. Even my Esteban. The whole place is being dug up. Although I'm certain that not everything that's being found is being delivered to the camp. Esteban makes sure that all the workers get a share of the gold. He's very fair like that. But someone is looking to line their own pockets. Who do you think it is lining their own pockets? And what would happen to them if you knew who it was? He'd be dead. Esteban's not a forgiving man. So it seems. Can I help? And why would you want to do that? What do you want, new mouth? Lazy cutthroats, idle thieves and mosquitoes. Why do you want in on this? You think the Don is losing control? He's... a complicated man. The Inquisition's takeover of Harbour Town shook him up badly. All we've got is this place and it's fragile, especially at the moment. I really don't need someone stirring up trouble. I need to talk to the Don. Join the queue. I'm thinking of joining it myself. You can talk to me. When Esteban's busy, and he's always busy, I'm in charge. But can you get me in to see him? No. Look, he needs time alone to think. I'm always having to turn people away, even his good friends. Why would I make an exception for a newcomer? You mean apart from my rugged good looks? <laughs> Believe me, I've seen better. Unless you have something really important for the Don, you aren't going to get to see him. I don't like the situation. I'm his wife and I don't get to see him. 
But it's his wishes, and we have enough trouble around here without looking for more. Oh, you're back, are you? Well, what do you want this time? You sound like you need help. What if I help out? You do that. But, well, if you really want to stick your hand in this beehive, you're welcome to. We can certainly use the help. Everything seems to have ground to a halt. Go to the camp lieutenants and see what sort of problems they're having. That should help you get a picture of what's happening here. Maybe we can root out the source of this rot before it reaches Esteban. About your camp. I was told you're short of food. You need more meat? Finally, someone who wants to do some work. Yes, I need ten haunches of raw meat. You bring me the meat, and I'll put a little gold your way. I never say no to gold. Here, ten haunches of meat, as requested. Thanks. These are pretty good cuts. Looks like you've got a skill for hunting. Here's your gold. Hunting doesn't pay that well, then. Take it or leave it. That's what you're getting, and it's enough to fill your stomach or get you drunk. Your choice. The workers had downed tools, but I've got Brannon and Enrico to start work again. Good. One less worry. Here, take this. You'll need it. Your deliveries of artifact crates will be starting again. Thanks. I didn't want to worry Esteban about that. Not after everything that's happened. So who are the lieutenants here? If you can't find that out yourself, how are you going to help me? Just go and talk to everyone. You'll find them. You'll soon see who's in charge and who thinks they are. By the way, Brogar is forcing Sam to work for him instead of hunting. He's sawing wood for Brogar's fire. That's why you've not been getting the meat you need. Damn Brogar! I thought he was trying to undermine Esteban. He'd be nothing without the Don, and now I need that meat. What do you want to do about it? Me? You do what you can. There'll be a full-on rebellion if stomachs go empty. If you want to help out, get me meat and get Sam back out hunting. Lewis claims Brogar wants to replace the Don. Brogar's always been trouble, but since we've been in this swamp, Esteban's absence has really lowered morale. It gets tongues wagging and hands lazy. I wish he could see that. Talk to the men. This could be just the thing to get Esteban going again. Show him how bad things have got, but I'm going to need more proof than the word of a drunken hunter. Brogar is refusing to help the workers. They're being attacked by the creatures in the swamp. That sounds like him. Wouldn't want to risk his precious fighters to protect the workers. This is all grist to the mill. Keep an eye on him. There's bound to be more. More? It doesn't look like anyone is doing their job in this camp. Yeah, I should have thought of that. I'm sure you have things to deal with. You must have someone else to talk to. Look who's come over all chatty.
What do you have to sell? Who could teach me to pick locks? Huh. That look. You've come for protection money. Protection money? Hmm. Maybe you just have that look. What brings you here? Is this your land? It's me that farms it. Then I use the Bruegel weed that grows here to make beer. What can you tell me about the area around here? You haven't been here long, have you? Let's see. Well, the boys in the camp all work for Don Esteban. They're collecting everything they can find made of gold. The Don must have a fortune in that temple by now. Where did the gold the Don's collecting come from? From those temple ruins, the ones that rose from the ground. They say there are treasures there, and creatures. What's Bruegelweed? They call it a weed, but it's not. Mostly grows in the swamp or along rivers. But you can find it most anywhere. Looks useless, but you can't get hops out here. Well, not cheap, you can't. And this stuff will do the trick. Is your beer any good? There were those on the mainland who thought so. Barley man's export, they called it, till the island was cut off. Every time you think you're getting ahead, life just drags you down. Which reminds me, the camp is waiting for a delivery. I don't suppose you'd be interested in dropping some bottles off for me? Do you work for the Don? Me? <laughs> I've been on this farm all my life. One day, these ruins rise up out of the ground, all over the place. Then Don Esteban comes here. At least he keeps these creatures from the temple away. Could you teach me to make beer? I suppose. If you have a basic knowledge of alchemy. But it would take you years to learn properly. Why does everyone here see a new face and just assume I'll do jobs for them? Because... You need people that will owe you favours. Favours? You never know when you'll need them. Take these ten bottles to Rachel, the camp cook. I need 50 gold coins for them, so I can pay my damn protection money. All right, but one day I'll want to collect that favour. Of course. Here's the beer. And don't forget, 50 gold pieces. 50? Yeah, I'll remember that. Does the Don ask you to pay for protection? No. It is Commander-in-Chief. The one that trains his fighters, Brogar. He demands 30 gold coins a month, or he'll take away the guards that look after my farm. So someone's found a way to earn money from this swamp. Maybe I could help you gather some Bruegelweed. Well, it would save me some time. All right. But I need deliveries of 10 plants. I will give you 70 gold coins for every 10 you bring. I've heard that you trade with novices. I do, but visitors have been rare lately. I have some Bruegel weed for you. Good job. Here's your gold. I can always use more plants. There are plenty of people who like beer. If you find more, you know the price. What can you teach me about the basics of alchemy?
should have thought of that. The swamp farmer sent me with ten bottles of beer. Ah, oh, I wondered when that was going to arrive. Thank you. That saved me a walk. Robar wants 50 gold coins for the beer. That's pricey. Guess even Robar can't afford to be giving away things free at the moment. Here you go. Thanks for doing the legwork. Makes sense, doesn't it? I delivered your beer. Yeah? But did you get my gold? Yes, here it is. That's a sight. Now I can get Brogar off my back. Thank you. I won't forget this. Consider a favor owed. I'm looking for magical items. Who told you to come here? I get it. None of my business. As it happens, I do have some scrolls to sell. I'm looking for a protection spell. Then you're in luck. I have one, but a word to the wise. Once it's used, the scroll is worthless. Clay is taking over your post. About time. Thanks. Here's something for you. Always pay your debts. Now, I need a rest. He got his head stuck. They had to rub animal fat on his ears. You know how he is. Almost pulled them clean off. Funny is this one. I hear there are some really few groups to take down there. 